So we are Tim Petrie and Denton Piet, and our fire research project involved applications for accelerometer-aided heads-up display manipulation. In today's day and age, we are beginning to see many new and exciting technologies implemented in our military, things such as drones, remote-controlled machinery, etc. As these technologies continue to evolve, it may be of interest to give military personnel the ability to be able to perform multiple tasks at once, potentially increasing efficiency of missions and tasks. Our research in this project sought to evaluate a way in which such multitasking might be implemented, specifically by looking at accuracy of tasks, time of completion, and ease of use. We set out to get data for this by creating two scenarios involving a physical task and an on-screen quiz. In the first scenario, the test subject was given a stack of cups and was required to take a cup off one at a time and begin stacking them into a pyramid shape. Each time a cup was placed on the desk, a simple math question will pop up on the computer screen in front of them, requiring the person to select either A or B as the answer and then continue creating the pyramid of cups. In the second scenario, the person was to complete the same task of stacking cups, only this time while wearing a head tracking apparatus on their head. When the question appeared on the screen, they simply had to move their head either to the left or to the right to select the answer and then continue with the task. We used a program on processing to run the quiz and respond to the keyboard inputs. For the head tracking scenario, an accelerometer reading program on Arduino was uploaded to an Arduino Uno connected to an accelerometer. The data from the serial port on Arduino was transmitted and then received by processing, which interpreted the accelerometer readings as inputs for the quiz answers. The accuracy and times of completion of each scenario were recorded. The results of the experiment gave fairly telling results. The average time of completion for the overall task was 10.4 seconds faster when subjects used the head-mounted accelerometer to respond. The average time between answers was 2.2 seconds faster with the head-assisted responses. While there may have been sources of error, such as mathematical abilities and comfortability with the apparatus, the results were generally consistent as the averages show. Viewing these results in a larger scope, the potential for military search and rescue missions or any remote-controlled UGV mission is substantial. Allowing operators to place greater focus on the mission as opposed to having to input various commands through the use of buttons or toggles gives greater mission efficiency. This can be crucial when speed and accuracy are imperative for the success of a mission. Looking ahead to future applications concerns the control of semi-autonomous units using more than just the hands. From gaming to the piloting of military craft, hands-free systems are becoming ever more popular and useful as they allow for human immersion in tasks via a comfortable, natural platform. The following video shows the accelerometer apparatus as it was used in the experiments.